A Peekskill, New York father desperately seeking answers after the death of his 10 year old son. He says John Lucas Ileskus was bullied in school and took his own life. But the medical examiner is calling the death accidental. CBS 2's Naveen Daliwal spoke with the child's father. This is the last memory Christian Aliskas has of his son, Jean Lucas. He was so happy. He was the best, the best kid I can have. It. With a heavy heart, Aliskas made his way to Peekskill City Hall Monday night to fight for his boy, his supporters holding t shirts. It's not just about my kids, it's about the other kids that suffer from bullying inside the school, see nobody doing anything for them. Aliskas's 10 year old son died on May 25th. The police investigation still active, and the Westchester Medical examiner ruled his death an accidental asphyxiation, but Eliskus doesn't believe that. How they know that? They never went to investigate nothing. Rather, he says his son died by suicide after being bullied for months at Hillcrest Elementary, where he was a student. He says Jin Lucas was called names. He was so scared about to go to school. We had a, we had a call, call to the police two times already. At last week's Board of Education meeting, the boy's father claimed the superintendent ignored his claims. I've been coming to this building for six months, six months. Just one minute, you never listen to me, you never open that door. Ilana Walker, a community activist, is joining in on his fight. She says her daughter was bullied at the same school years ago. It's about a problem that they want to bury, they don't want to address. And it's this problem, they say, that needs to be solved to save other children from the same fate and parents from the pain. My kid is not here anymore. Ten years old, you know, was my whole life, he's not here anymore. Like I told, I have nothing to lose now, right now. In a statement, the school superintendent says he's awaiting on the findings of the police investigation before deciding to proceed further. In Peekskill, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.